This is my grandfather, William Jackson Bogle. Lots of events have shaped his life, but the two major ones are growing up during the Great Depression and serving in the Navy during the Korean War. Growing up during the Great Depression is a memory that my grandfather has kept with him throughout his life. Being born in 1932, he was too young to remember the worst part of the Depression. He was brought up in a rural community where people depended on growing their own food and raising animals like hogs and chickens. The Depression did not have as severe an effect on his community as it did on those who lived in larger cities where they depended on jobs and the paychecks they received from factories and other industries. Sadly, thousands of people suddenly lost their jobs. He can remember when he was 10 or so years old and items of clothing were very scarce and hard to come by because of the lack of cash. He remembers hunting for hen, hen nests on a Saturday afternoon so he could gather enough eggs to sell at the local store for 12 cents per dozen. He wanted to get enough cash to buy a ticket to a movie, which back then were sold for 10 cents per ticket. He says that these memories left him with a great appreciation for the value of money and taught him how to be very frugal. My grandfather was a member of the U.S. Navy during the Korean War, which lasted a span of three years from 1950 to 1953. He was 18 years old at the start of the war, just barely old enough to serve in the Navy. The country was beginning to recover economically during the early 1940s and people were beginning to leave the rural areas to work in defense plants. A great sense of patriotism was experienced throughout the country. This affected him in a way that he still remembers today. He sometimes feels that we have lost some of this patriotism in our present society. In addition to doing his patriotic duty, serving in the Korean War made it possible for my grandfather to go to college on the GI Bill. This helped his family in later years by allowing him to earn more money by becoming a professional engineer. During the war, he received the standard U.S. Navy anchor pin and a special U.S. Navy submarine dolphin pin. The dolphin pin is special because he had to earn it and not everybody gets one. Now I'm going to let my grandfather explain to you exactly what each of the pins mean. An anchor, that's a symbol of a piece of equipment used by ships to drop to the bottom to hold a ship in place while in port. Okay. Now this is a... Uh, a symbol that's called the twin dolphins and that means quite a bit in the submarine force it's a uh, medal awarded to crew members of a u.s navy submarine after being tested and proven to be qualified to do all jobs in the operation of the ship usually takes a year or so to qualify then you can uh, you presented this uh, you know for your you're, you're able to, to wear that on your uniform. In conclusion, my grandfather says that the events of his past have influenced his beliefs in strong families and education, his country, and in God, which in his opinion are all necessary for a well-rounded and fulfilled life.